All right, so today is the new LEGO Star Wars uh, 2013 Corporate Alliance Tank Droid. This is uh, one of the new sets. It is 271 pieces and it is $20. Still, still, obviously, so it's an okay set in my opinion. I mean, the tank, it's okay. It's not one of the best. But the figures on the set are just really, really awesome. That's basically why I got this set. So, and for the one main figure, so we'll get on to the figures. First up, here's the brand new Jenga Fett. That's why everybody's probably going to be buying this figure, this set, because of the figure. So, really cool. They probably brought back Jenga. I, um, I would have thought they'd bring him back in, like, the Slave 1 or something. I mean, not in, like, a 20-hour set. <laughs> That's kind of surprising. So, that they put a rare figure in there. So, very quickly, here is a, a size comparison. Up next to the... 2002 Django, which of course a lot of you know was the very first. So let me just sit down the camera and I'll show you of everything. So, so here's the old one as you've seen in the Slave One review. If you haven't seen that, check that out. So anyway, you got he's got his blaster, of course these like Western pistols. He has the same kind of like different little guns they did. I'm surprised they didn't do a new mold on a gun for Django, but you notice this one's got a lot more detail on it. I mean, this one's not bad because this was the first Django. So, and if you notice in the old one, if you take off his and jetpack, which is this helmet, you notice that he had the black kind of thing around. They did not do it on this Django. I was kind of surprised. Of course, faces are and they didn't do like the little headset because you know in the movie uh, Django had the headset. So, it's kind of shocked that they didn't do a like black around it because whenever he took off his helmet it would be that kind of black so so if I had to pick a favorite it would probably have to be both maybe the old one or the new one I'm really not sure they're just both great I mean the old one's not bad it's actually my favorite figure but this new one I am so r glad that they finally did they did a great job so if any of you out there who worked for Lego and designed this figure great job on him so next up is the bow droid and he's the kind of Geonosian one not really much to say about him just in a Geonosian car um, set him down next you get the episode 2 attack of the clone figure this figure's not new he was like in a um what's the name of that set it's like a clone trooper versus um droidica so the only thing really is the gun they made it more episode 2 this antenna is not supposed to be on them. I just put it on them. It just looks a little bit cooler. So there's your figures. On to the tank. It's okay. I mean, the track trends work really well. Uh, you got flick fire missiles, obviously. They did not make the the main gun a flick fire. I am so glad at that because I was getting kind of tired of them doing because they did that to the A wing. So you got these kind of like little eyes up here. And you got short antennas. I don't know why they went with short. It looks like they just actually brought this tank back from the Clone Wars, but then you got these things that kind of climb around stuff, so very quickly. Here's a size comparison up next to the first Corporate Alliance tank droid. And this one is from the Wookiee Attack, so I just reviewed that set. But this one, as you know, does not open. That's what I like about the old one. Both sides open and the little chair slides out. And the tracks do work. I'll have to do it on the carpet though, but if you've seen our review, you know what I'm talking about. And I like how they did the long antennas on the old one. I mean, this one's not bad. I do like the nice color scheme they did for both, but if I had to pick a favorite tank, it'd be the first one. Just because it's more movie looking. So, but there's that. Hope you enjoyed this review. Um, hope, sorry if I um, kind of burst your bubble on wanting to get this for the tank, but if you want to get it mainly for the figures, then I would. Otherwise, I really wouldn't. I mean, it's not bad or anything, but anyway, there's that. I hope you enjoyed this review, and I'll be doing some more Lego Star Wars stuff, as well as some Iron Man 3, and Pots, and probably some more, some Mega Box Halo, so yeah, thanks for watching. Please write, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys Monday. We're going to start doing reviews Monday and Thursday, so. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe.